Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, and even a dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thank you again so much for being here and spending a little part of your day with me. I hope that I am keeping you company doing something that you love or at least helping you find some subscription boxes that you or someone you know will enjoy. Today I have a box that does not fit into any of the categories that I always list at the beginning of my videos. It is another artisanal dessert box from Phoebe and it always comes packaged so beautifully. This box was sent to me for review so thank you again to the folks at Phoebe. They do a beautiful box of a variety of desserts for just $35 per month and they work with small independent bakeries which I think is so so cool. They also have a macaron box which I think would be really fun. Now, like I said, I don't do a ton of food boxes unless I feel like the products are really going to translate well to some photography over on Instagram. If you're not following me over there yet, please do. I really enjoy getting to sort of showcase some products, especially food products over there with you all. So I'm going to go ahead and untie the beautiful ribbon. Now this is usually sent to me via FedEx and it does come in an outer box that has a nice uh, cooler pack in it. So everything comes in good condition and then you just pop it into the refrigerator until you're able to open it and enjoy and I believe most of the um, items inside are best served at room temperature so I just think this would be so fun for like bigger family dinners or get-togethers because everybody gets to choose their own dessert and there's usually like seven to eight desserts in here which I think is pretty impressive so inside I've just got some little little tissue paper and a very pretty blue and then we'll see what it says about this so this is their May box it says May 18th to June 8th spring colors fruits flowers and more and the uh, theme I guess is spring blossom so this is a little bit different there's actually a like product card in here in the past I feel like it's just been like a sort of printout of the ingredients and um, all of the nutritional facts so I really appreciate that they included this little product list so I'm gonna prop that up in front of me so I can tell you more about it and then just some information about Phoebe the company so and then here is what I was talking about where they do actually sort of give you those nutritional values so you can know all of the ingredients of course and all the really fun things to know like you know the calories and the total fat and the cholesterol so we're just gonna toss that because I don't really want to look at that necessarily actually usually I do look at things like that but and I'll probably take a look before I go ahead and indulge in all of these items but this is a box that of course my husband is always really excited about when he sees it in the refrigerator and he'll be like did you film already and I'll be like yeah I already did the unboxing but I haven't taken photos yet so don't touch it um, but he does really enjoy getting to kind of get in there and peek and decide so there was some red foozles in here which I'm just gonna kind of move out of the way as best as I I can and you can kind of see everything is sort of nestled in here pretty neatly so I think I will be able to figure out what everything is so the first item I'm seeing looks like kind of like a cake brownie it almost looks like it's got like a pumpkin on top but I'm gonna guess that it's supposed to be like more of a I don't know an orange or something to go along with the spring theme so it does say on the bottom it is the Oreo harvest brownie like I love a good brownie and then I always feel so guilty about actually making an entire pan of brownies because it's just me and my husband and I will eat all of the brownies especially the like kind of chewy corner bits so this is not a corner but I bet that it's delicious so I'm gonna keep that sealed I don't do um, taste tests on camera just because I feel a little bit rude but again I also want to preserve the beauty of these items so that I can take some photos for you guys first so let's see it says layers of dark chocolate brownie or Oreo cream filling and Oreo cookie crumbles topped with a buttercream carrot. So I guess it's supposed to be a carrot on top. It looks more like a pumpkin or an orange to me. That's a kind of smashed carrot, but that's all right. All right, let's see what else we've got. So this looks like a couple of maybe like poppy seed cookies that just came in this little package, but there are two of them. It almost looks like a giant macaron, like two, two halves. So let's see if I can figure out what these are. It doesn't actually have a label on there, so I'm gonna have to figure it out myself. Lemon poppy seed cookies. They almost just look like the tops of a muffin, so yum. It says crisp and del delicate lemon cookies with extra crunchy poppy seeds. So I usually like a softer cookie versus a crunchy cookie. Cookie. let me know in the comments below if you're a soft and chewy cookie person or a crunchy cookie person or you're like equal opportunity and you like all the cookies I mean I will eat crunchy cookies but I just really love them when they're like chewy and ooey gooey but these 
they, they feel kind of crunchy, so, but they'll still be delicious. I bet these are good breakfast cookies. I bet they go really good with my coffee or my tea. All right, these look like little meringues. It's like this little jar, but they're like the lightest things ever, like a meringue should be. So cute. Let's see what it says. It says pastel meringue drops. So here's where we're getting some of that spring vibe going on. It says light and airy like spring meringue cookies in pretty pastels and fun flavors such as lime, orange, raspberry, and vanilla. So I bet those pack a punch is my guess. Meringues can be really good. Um, they're, you know, they're basically just sugar and egg whites, but... I still like them. So they do these fun like cake in a cup things which I actually really love. This is the blackberry kiwi cake. That sounds so awesome you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the uh, so it does have like a little plastic wrap but usually it's just decorated so beautifully that I do want to go ahead and um open it up to show you guys and then of course I'll show you over on Instagram but um you know, I just want you to get the full effect, the enjoyment. So let me see what it says. This is moist vanilla cake topped with a tart kiwi curd and sweet blackberry buttercream frosting. That sounds so good. I mean, I love kiwi fruit, but I also love anything berry. So nothing too crazy in terms of the decoration, but you can just see that lovely blackberry buttercream frosting. I bet it's going to taste delicious. And I just feel like this is so good for like portion control too, because like it's not a giant slice of cake, right? Right? or a cake that's just going to sit on your counter for days and days and days until you devour it. It's just like a nice little treat. So love that. And then it looks like we got another one. And this one almost looks like you can kind of see the ridges from it being like in a cupcake liner. And then it got pop popped into this little jar. So let me go ahead and open this one up. Also has a nice fruity uh, flavor to it. It says this is the strawberry lemonade cake. That sounds so good and almost refreshing. Can a cake be refreshing? I feel like it can. I'm going to say cakes can be refreshing. So let's see what it says about this one. Lemon cake frosted with fresh strawberry buttercream. So I don't know if there'll be any decoration on this one. Not too much more, just some little sprinkles. But the good thing is is my husband's not a huge fan of lemon, so that means this one is mine. Although he doesn't necessarily like read the description, so he'll probably just think it's like vanilla cake and dive into it, and then I'll get like a half-eaten cake, which is still fine by me. That's that's a form of portion control too, right? <laughs> if you do the like I taste tested it and I don't really like it, so you now you can have it. But usually in our, our household, he's the picky one, and I'm like the disposal that like eats all the things, all the leftovers. Like I just don't like to let things go to waste. So even if there's like a little extra of something, even if I'm full, which is like a terrible habit, I'll still eat it. All right, we've got something else in a little package. I'm, this looks like a lemon bar, you guys. Ooh, no, this is different. So it looks like a lemon bar, got a little melty there. It's a grapefruit bar. Does that not sound awesome? I love citrusy things. If you watched my videos for any amount of time, you know that I love citrusy scents and fruity scents in general, but especially citrus and this is gonna be so good. So it says, thick, creamy, and tangy grapefruit curd filling tops a buttery shortbread crust, a wonderfully balanced sweet and tart pairing. I am so excited about that, and it looks it looks like a lemon tart, so my husband probably won't eat it. He probably wouldn't like it anyway because it's still grapefruit, still gonna be kind of like a lemon tart, but these are like some of my favorite things ever. I didn't used to be like a huge fan of like shortbread and like things that didn't have chocolate, but I guess I'm just, um, I'm sort of uh, expanding my dessert horizons as I get older, which is probably not a good thing. I should probably get a little bit pickier. All right, we've got one more thing in this little, actually we've got two more things, but one more in a package like this. And this, ooh, pistachio rose blondie. So basically a, a blonde brownie. Um, now I'm not usually a huge fan of things that have like rose flavor in them, but I do love pistachios. I think they are so delicious, especially in baked goods. Let me see if I can find this. White chocolate blondies filled with oodles of pistachios and flavored with a hint of floral rose water. So probably not going to be my favorite because of the rose because I feel like rose even when it's just like a hint is super overpowering but that won't stop me from eating it don't you worry <laughs> and then we have one more thing so we did get a total of eight things in here 
so nice and then we got a macaron and i told you guys they have a macaron box so the macarons that i've had in this regular dessert box have been so good like the way that a macaron should be and those are so hard to ship so i'm always super impressed that they come pretty intact for the most part knock on wood um but this, you know the texture of the cookie part is still like a little bit soft a little bit chewy and then they have those intense flavors that macaron should have so i'm super excited because this one is orange kumquat does that not sound so good of course you know citrusy um very springy i'm gonna go ahead and open it as carefully as i can so that we can take a look at it and hopefully it was wedged in there good enough that it didn't get any breakage but what's really good too is that they keep it nice and sealed so that it doesn't get dried out because that is a bummer when you get a dried out macaron crispy on the outside soft on the inside almond macaron shells filled with kumquat curd and orange buttercream yes please that sounds so good we've got some shred in there to keep it all together and then like i said oh i got a little tiny crack on one side but i think she's okay otherwise so then they put it into this plastic container and you can kind of see there's some crumbs floating around in there so there is a little crack on this side but the other side looks pretty good a little bit of crumbling along the edges here i'm i'm curious to see how they actually send the macaron um that they do as a box if they have like a little like crate for them because even though they have packaged this so so carefully I did still get some crumbles so it's not like that perfect macaron shape but you know it's still gonna taste perfect and delicious so I'm very happy with this box let's just go over all of the awesome things that I get to try out I'm so excited you guys the blackberry kiwi cake that sounds delicious we also got the grapefruit bar that might be the thing I'm the most excited about that like tangy tartness with the like buttery um, shortbread lemon poppy seed cookies which are going to be breakfast cookies the orange kumquat macaron which this is gonna be delicious uh, I'm going to have a hard time taking photos of all of these things it is always such like a trying hour while I am taking photos to not just like pop the things in my mouth the Oreo harvest brownie the pastel meringue drops I'm like again those are a fun little thing to like pop in and just have a little burst of sugar uh, the pistachio rose blondie and finally the strawberry lemonade cake so both cakes to me sound really good I think the tart is the thing I'm the most excited about honestly everything sounds awesome and I kind of love that they did these like bright springy flavors and colors let me know in the comments below which item you would be most excited about and if you have tried out any of the Phoebe boxes I will leave a link for their website in the description box below as well if you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up I would truly appreciate it and hopefully I see you all very very soon in my next unboxing definitely check me out over on Instagram if you want to see some images of these items up close it's just at Maui underscore Noel and that will be linked below as well